Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Stories from the Outbreak, a zombie turn-based RPG roguelike that I'm very excited to be checking out again here today. Played about a year ago, and I was really surprised by how much I enjoyed it. It's out now in 1.0, so in we go. This is the story of Anna. As Anna exits her apartment, she feels nothing but the stench of new death and the weight of her weapon. Momentarily, she doubts the sanity of her own actions, but these thoughts are interrupted by a distant growl. Turning hesitation into adrenaline and energy, a zombie appears in sight, unaware that it's about to become a slightly scared survivor's first kill. Alright. This is the- Ooh. My oh my. This is the combat screen. During your turn, select an ability at the bottom of the screen. Deal 10 damage. 25 damage. Powerful but very slow. 5 damage. Apply 3 bleed. Every 10 ticks, take damage equal to bleed amount, and then lower the bleed amount. So, wait, 5 damage, 25 damage, so it actually probably makes some sense to do this, because it's a little bit quicker. This is the timeline. It shows the order of future turns and how much time is left until them. So, they're going to be going in 15, you know, time units. So we want to go for this big attack since he's got less health than 25. We would take him out in the one. As you can probably assume, we do have kind of like a, a team that we're going to be getting. We do have this, uh, I remember this from last year, we have this very simple kind of like aerial font. It's very readable at the very least, but it also is kind of, it's an odd one for a zombie game. Out of breath and dizzy, Anna reads her bloody, rests her bloody bad against her shoulder. She promises herself that she'll get used to this soon. Leaving a beaten corpse behind her, she carries on. The best you can do. All right. We have a weak infected. I mean, let's we'll let's start out with the bleed. It's a damage over time effect. Usually, it's going to be helpful to get something like that out there first. So he's going in thirteen. I mean. Apply three more bleed. I think we just go for a normal hit. Do you actually get an attack off? Or is it get... I was going to say, is it going to be nice for the tutorial? Got a little bit of armor. Does that come back each uh, each fight? Thank you. Very helpful. The dead bodies on these foes are a reminder that the team may yet find a way to survive the dying city. New ability unlocked. Okay. We get to choose one of these, or... New ability unlocked. Bloody Triumph. Deal 10 to 30 damage if the target dies from this attack. Lower the cooldown by 30 ticks. Okay. Familiar face makes eye contact with Anna. Perhaps a neighbor or someone seen a few times passing by. The man is sitting on a bench. Rusty axe beside him and a motionless zombie bleeding on the ground right next to him. He looks shaken. Maybe like Anna, he killed for the first time today. Noticing her bad, he stands up and greets her. Soon turning out to be another soul, hoping to find enough fuel to make it on a ferry to... Oh no, Lipija. Together, they'll have a much better chance of surviving out there. Alright, so we got you. Weak infected. So no matter what we do, we're not going to be able to, like. Ooh, 10 to 30. This hits both? No. Yeah, okay. It's just saying it can hit the front row. All right. We'll go for you. We'll be able to kill him in one hit for sure next time then, at least. Uh, deal three damage and inflict a poison to an entire row. Every ten ticks, take damage equal to the poison amount. Attack damage is reduced by the poison amount as well. Doesn't scale with focus. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. This character becomes the target for all currently planned enemy attacks and gains protection. Oh, he actually is the... He'd be the next one to get hit, too. He also has 26 armor. We kill, this is the entire row. Okay. So you're about to go. We could kill you pretty easy. 11 to 31, let's do it. Random. 31! Which means she basically just gets to go again here. Uh, powerful but slow. Let's do a, a quick attack. 
Yeah, because we got the one coming out there, not a big deal. Same deal, we, we gained the... I've heard of that sound effect before. Most attacks give your characters focus. Every focus adds one flat damage to all damage you deal. Focus also fills up the orange segments at barn. When you fill it up, you get a buff, but beware. Enemies can get focus as well. A choppa choppa. So we do get this focus. Focus buff. Protect your teammates. Team gains four protection now and then end whenever the focus bar fills up. Gain three protection whenever taking damage. You get it for the remainder of the battle. This is a very, it's a very interesting system. Gain three power for every enemy targeting this character. Uh, it, like, it doesn't really matter since the fight is just about to be over. We could get the guarantee or we could gamble for fun. I ah, will go with the guarantee. Why Why do anything else, right? We're in that story. Let's, let's get through it. But there is definitely a lot to pick up, so I'm happy we did. Well fought, everyone. Thank you. All right. The team expects danger here. Looks like we are out on a, an actual run here. Team expects to find fuel used for trading with other survivors. Each ferry ticket costs three fuel. I have some food. Let's move up for some fuel. The team comes across an improvised field hospital operated by the rebels, community forces that uh, fought during the day of blood. Oh my lord. Okay, the team can donate blood in exchange for fuel, losing a lot of health. Ugh. A lot of health? I mean, I'm... I'm I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to mindlessly lose blood uh, right now before I've even done anything. <laughs> Maybe later. Okay. Hound. So they are both going to go pretty quick here. They both have 30. There's a very small chance we could get them quickly. Uh, yeah, I feel like the five... I mean, not that we necessarily need the bleed going... When an enemy is preparing an attack, you'll see its estimated damage. It might be inaccurate. Final damage can be influenced by the various status effects of the attacker or the target. Each icon represents a prepared ability that is targeting the unit. Red icon is used for abilities of the opposing team, and blue is allies of the same team. So they're intending to do 10 there. I mean, I think we'll we'll, we'll go for the taunt. I feel like it just makes sense. We have a 25 damage. Bonk. 10 protection to target ally? I mean, can you go above? You sure can. I mean, he's tanky as all get out. We'll go for the choppa choppa. Are you still taunted? Howl, so you buffed up. Hound is now focused. Not for long, punk. Just doesn't matter for this moment because we are done. Good to go. They're zombies, okay? What do you want? Dead bodies of the foes are a reminder that you may yet find a way to survive. One inspiration point for Anna or a trinket or in addition? In addition. During combat, characters convert all excess healing into protection. Characters without protection deal plus armor damage to enemies. Mm, I don't know if we have much of either. Okay, so you have an inspiration point. It's like a level up. We got agility, ability cooldown, and determines turn order. Toughness, max health, power has got to be just, yeah, increase the damage of most attacks. Armor, oh, okay. Each point of armor gives you five protection at the start of combat. I do really like that. Let's just get raw damage for now. Damage dealer, tank, gotcha. Katarina. Name's Katarina. You think you could allow me to follow you on your journey? I need to make it to the Ipsha. But I'll understand if you don't want my company. It's a no-brainer. She wields a large rifle that could absolutely be invaluable in fighting zombies. The team welcomes her enthusiastically. Let me guess. You're a damage dealer as well? Yeah. Uh, shoot. 14 damage. Enemy behind takes half damage as well. 14 damage and inflict 3 bleed. Headshot. 35 damage. Even if odds... Wait, even odds to hit or miss will remove guarded. Interesting. Okay. I do wonder about the, um... The trinket thing I got. Is that for everybody? 
It looks like that's for everybody. During combat. Okay. I don't really need to uh, to heal. I'll go for the powerful foe. Maybe we can get some fuel that we don't have to trade body like our body away for. The team can wait. Pay to hear the musician's song. How about you give me that fuel of yours? I don't have any. I'll play you that song. I can pay to hear the song. I don't have it. So just say, suit yourself. I'll go look for audience elsewhere. Elsewhere. So I'm assuming there was... Sorry, there's just so much. So many... So many, uh, so many words. Lots of text. So I'm not going to go through all of it. So yourself, I'll go look for an audience elsewhere. I, I also wanted the fuel anyways right now. Okay. Ooh, my. All of a sudden, that is quite a bunch. Guarded. Unable to be targeted by melee attacks. Units behind this game guarded. Let's try and get you out of the way, I guess. But we could apparently, like... Snipe you. Every 10 ticks. Okay, so they get the bleed amount. Oh, God, that is... Almost no matter what you do, it's going to be... Uh... Ooh, a long one. These are definitely some sound effects from, like, a, a library I've heard a bunch. Mm. We could go... No matter what, we're going before you anyways. So, five. You're taking nine damage already. So, I'll hit you with the uh, the carnage, because then he's dead before his turn starts. Six protection becomes the target of all currently planned enemy attacks. You kind of already are. Oh, my damage? That is a lot. I mean, we're not going to be taking some of it. Okay, so that, that guy just very casually died to the bleed. All right. Uh, so we got 11 over there. I mean, that's actually just okay. Preparing a different action. Let's go with focus. I mean, let's get... Um, you start building up a little bit more recovery, uh, or a little bit more block there. We could try and go for the headshot to get you out of the way. You're doing 11, but I feel like the big man up front is... It's pretty rough. 15 damage enemy behind takes half. Do I really care about the half? It might be good to get some quicker things going. The bleed is not bad. I could also just start to uh, to go for the back line. Let's start applying some bleed. Okay, it's fine. You've done what now? 27 in the back line is a lot. 12 coming in there. Okay, so we'll just give you protection. That's just fine. So you get your ability now, don't you? Yes. Team gains plus four protection now and whenever this bar fills up. Yep, yep, yep. Hmm. We'll work on this. Get damage apply the bleed. I kind of want to stack that up. All right. 13 coming in on Anna. 27 on the back line. You're doing... Okay. Interesting. How many ticks of bleed? So theoretically, you're going to be taking 11 damage. I don't know if we're killing... We definitely, we don't get a go before, well, wait, what if it's a tie? Let's find out, for science. This is for science. In the event of a tie, what happens? 
All right, I don't like that I'm going here, but okay, okay, good. So you are attacking the back line first. I don't really want to taunt yet. Okay. Yeah, I knew that was going to be a little bit. You've gotten some rage. Oh, we low rolled. The good news is he's absolutely dead before he goes, so that does help. Uh, you were intending to do 13 to Anna still. That doesn't really matter. So go ahead and put a little bit of armor on ourselves, Because then we can go for the taunt. So yeah, bleed's definitely going. 17 damage. Alright. Cool. Shoot all enemies for plus 5 damage now and when choosing a buff, gain 2 focus. Interesting. Team heals 4 health whenever an enemy dies. I mean, I, I think we'll, we'll greed that. We'll, we'll greed that then. To get that extra HP. Intending to do 16. You are already targeting me. So we'll give ourselves the 10 armor right there. Because if you're already targeting him, there's no point to change that up. Twenty six. Just in case it's, it's again like you know we might be going to a tie. Doing that so we can go again before you do. We're we're all good. Heal plus tough health whenever choosing a focus buff. Cool. Deal extra power damage to bleeding enemies. Enemies lose three power for every plus eight ticks after getting hit by this character. It's hmm. cool. Shouldn't matter here. We should be able to go for whatever the heck. Just, just in case I'm wrong, though, we'll go for the extra safety. So we really, we get to pick that every time. That is very nice. Conk. Two inspiration points for Janice. Food, fuel, story piece. Didn't have to go to school today. I was really happy, but then mom also told me I can't watch TV anymore. Okay. Unhinged intimidation. That's my jam. Add plus six damage to the next use of Carnage. Or its upgraded version. This stacks. Okay, so there's upgraded versions for each move as well. Good to know. Uh, go for an upgrade. We've got two points here. Toughness, increased character's max health. Each point increases it by 10. It's super worth it. I do feel like we want to go for one there. Lowers ability cooldown. Lowers training time. I'm going to go for an agility for now. Rolls, we can choose where. I feel like I'm fine with that. Oh. Oh, so training is like... Alright, we're gonna get more. We'll escape in no time. Uh, okay. Pay the toll. Pay a toll. Oh, boy. Party. Wait, optimal intelligence 21. I don't know what... Oh, oh, it just tells you. Okay, very, try and run away with a very, very likely success. Okay. One of the team members screams zombies and everyone takes off. In a short while, the cultists realize what happens, chase after. Team unsuccessfully tries shaking them off until they run into an actual horde of zombies. And seeing this, the Unity for Peace soldiers lose interest and decide to leave them to their fate. Okay. That should be fine. So they don't have any actions on turn one. So move back seven points to get plus six damage. There's definitely some situations in which that would be useful. Uh, 
This gives us two focus. Takes over twice as much time. Hemorrhage gives us no focus. That's, I feel like, an, a pretty important factor there. So there are now two attacks. Uh, so we do have to take all the attacks or none of the attacks. There's no in-between. What are the sound effects? So I guess that makes some sense. All right. Uh, you got to go again, huh? Well, then just take all that extra protection. 34. We could do the 31. You got the bleed on you. And bleed's going to go, it looks like. Good. Good deal. Yeah, this, these guys are pushovers. What a good tank, too. Should we try and just go for a headshot? <laughs> At this point, I mean, why, w why would I, though, right? You're attacking here. I mean, man, look at that. He, he gets to go a lot, a lot faster. Um, sure. Gain the extra three. Powerful, but slow. Get the plus six. We'll be able to get it off before he goes. So we reduce... Where does it show us reducing their damage? Okay, let's try headshot, though. Yeah, I just wanted to know. 39 damage. It's been charged up. Conk. Yeah, that was... That's nothing. Uh, the wear team feels almost lucky. It's much better to confront the undead than the soldiers of the unity for peace. Um, extremely powerful, a very powerful threat. I mean, hey, I'm down. Ooh, definitely, definitely tougher. <laughs> definitely tougher. So, yeah, I get why we wouldn't use hemorrhage now. It, it I think it is better, like, it's better long term. Is it? It's better for raw damage. a lot of attacks coming out here. Um, enough that it's probably... Wait, hold on. What is this? Where's that put us? Eh. We want to grab the extra. Seven. The back line's not even that great. Okay, so those guys aren't particularly spooky. We got two 20s coming in, though. That is concerning. But one of them is coming from you. So what I could do is... Oh, God. Can I check your attacks? How much damage does that attack do? I really would like to know. If we wanted to be sure that we were going to pop them... Okay. Another five on Anna is just good, to be honest. Get another 10 over here. Work on it. Okay, because then we got the 37. We can definitely get you out of the way. We could have tried the other move. I just didn't really want to chance it at that moment. So you have, we only have the, one, the single 20 coming in now. You're not... Oh, you've never been guarded. That guy was... The only reason that, uh, that we were getting guarded was... Eh, whatever. Uh, let's... Let's focus on the front line a little bit. More than... Okay. No longer really want her to be taking the hits. Uh, the bigger hit is coming from her. Ten protection. He's also going to get the uh, the move where. Let's get the three protection per hit. I feel like it makes sense when there's just a lot of these here. When do I get the three per hit? Is it factored in beforehand? 
Oh my god, they're they're so fast. Yep. So we got Katarina potentially able to go for something though. Uh, 10 over there. Oh, this is not good. We'll go for the wild shout. Protect us a little bit. 33 has got to be... It's enough. That'll stop one of the bigger hits. Do we heal this right away? We do. We do heal it immediately. Okay, good to know. Um... Uh, they are powering up, so that's kind of their thing, I guess. Take the 10. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. A 50-50? Oh, she's focused. I'll, I mean, sure. Shoot all enemies for plus 5 damage. I'll go for the team heals. Minus two armor. Okay, so... Incoming is two attacks on you. That... That sucks. Attack damage is reduced by poison. I mean, we can reduce the damage by one, but, like, who really cares? Incoming, yikes. Oh, we, we do get it after. See, it, there, there was a quick way we could actually see it. 10 protection. Thank you. The fact that this can, like, slowly stack up is really, really nice. The whole team gains 4 protection. Eh, we just want it on you, I think. For real. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> equal odds. Finally. All right, cool. Inspiration from Katarina. We get to pick a trinket. Enemies gain two poison whenever they get a focus buff. The whole team starts combat with two... Oh, two focus. I just wanted to click it. All right. Thank you very much. Um, God, what do I go for? Your speed is pretty rough. give you some speed because speed lets you start ramping up that kind of like chain reaction uh we can rest you know i'm really glad you're here in the team beer i was worried i wouldn't see you again oh related loving happy we can spend time together my love even if it's in circumstances like this oh not related uh Eat full, heal 50%. I mean, we'll eat three food, heal nothing. We don't really need the healing. Just don't want to go into the boss fight with the big smacking. The old man smiles mysteriously as he makes his way towards the team, and the hounds, not immune to the unfortunate effects of the new death, follow loyally by his side. A strange humanity can still be seen in his infected eyes, somehow even more haunting than the lifelessness that the virus instills in others. Dangerous humanity reflecting a mindful cruelty that the other zombies, too primitive and beastly, would not be capable of. The growls of the hounds by his side indicate that they won't allow you to flee. There's one way to settle this. Face the man who has befriended death. Okay. So that is quite a bit there. We already have the two charged. We could, like... We could try and go for just a bunch of bleed. There's definite validity to it. Builds up focus bar very quickly and summons hounds when filling up that focus bar. Ugh, fills it up quickly. I guess we should have gone for the other thing. Oh, well. Let's start stacking bleed. We got a couple, we got a couple bleed, bleed fools. 10 and 10, 10. I've got to tell you what. Stay with the poison in the front row. We'll, we'll reduce their damage a bit here. 
the damage and even more bleed. I like the idea of stacking that bleed up. It's it's gonna really add up. Ten and nine. Yeah, I'm willing to take that early uh, the early penalty. On top of the fact that we're already good to go. Four protection now, and whenever the bar fills up. Cool. Eight. Ten. Didn't even matter. Sucker. Let's work up this uh, this nasty smacking. <laughs> Why? Just because I wanted to. I want to send him to space. Now we're really sending him to space. Shoot all enemies for plus five. Shoot all... Wait. Gunfire, shoot all enemies for plus five damage now and when choosing a focus buff. It's kind of good to get that active. Okay. So what do we got for the damage coming in? We got 110... It just says it's to the next use of Carnage. So we should be able to... So 15. Yeah, here. Can't hit both. What are they doing? What's their... What is their plan? They're howling? They're... Focus buff. Oh, I don't think that's gonna matter. Bonk. I feel like I uh, am overpowered. There's no point to even care about any of these right now. <laughs> Come on, mod. All right, now that attack is coming in on us. Bonk. Well, that was kind of cool how the music started fading out, like, as you were... Oh, that actually... That actually feels pretty cool that way. Uh, Trinket. After every six enemies killed, gain a food. Melee attacks deal plus power damage to enemies that don't have any protection. Um... You know, obviously could be good. Salt Shaker is really interesting, though, from a sense of, like, a meta upgrade, which is the area that after that fight I feel like I'd be more scared of. Provide opportunity, wait the delay, and then swap turn order with an ally. Hmm. So it takes two points to get another one of these upgrades. I feel like I kind of want to wait on that. I'm happy to take another uh, agility for Anna. And I'm happy to take another power for you. Bandage wounds. Heal target ally for three. Remove two poisons when used on a target in the back row. Or three bleed if they're in the front row. Okay. The fourth ability has been permanently unlocked in current and future runs for all characters. And ability upgrades have become more frequent. We have not found a single ability upgrade. So thank you. Maxim. Sorry. Do you mind if I tag along? Uh, he's armed with a paintball gun. Its effectiveness against zombies is unconvincing, but the team decides to give him a chance anyways. Uh, what? Music where? Uh, paintball do two damage, inflict 35 mark, take 50% extra damage from range attacks, 25% from melee attacks for the duration, 35 is probably the duration. Push, lower the targets, cooldown... Lower the target's cooldown by 10 ticks. So you're very support. Attacks inflict plus two bleed for the duration. Gives focus to the whole team. Interesting. So we definitely probably want to get like, definitely probably, definitely would like to get like some speed. Seems pretty useful for you. I mean, speed's going to be useful for pretty much anybody. Help in non-combat situation. Maybe we go for that. 
Protection at the start of combat is kind of nice, too, because it means, like, we could have a situation increase damage of most attacks, 1.0. Uh... I'll grab the armor. If someone attacks them on turn one, you know, it could be kind of good because then we could have actually more time to set up as the others. I don't really feel like I need medicine. I feel fine. Scavenging. Team can risk scavenging here. Bring it on. Inside the house, the team finds a man trying to hide from a horde of zombies, which seems to have broken in through the back. The man noticing the team seems relieved. Perhaps they've arrived to save him. Team eyes their options. There's supplies here as well, and the zombies do seem distracted. I'm gonna help him. It's probably another person, right? Oh boy. Inflicts poison always attacks the front row. Uh oh. Okay, so that lasts quite a while. Still don't know what they're doing quite yet. Okay, 25, 15. So we'll just... We'll just apply the 10 over there. Why not? Feels like that makes plenty of sense. Removes two poison when used in the back row. That's going to be so unhelpful. <laughs> okay, bonk. 32 damage. How much more? 25% more for melee. Interesting. For the duration. The duration is only 17. I think we try and work up to a, a one-shot if we can. Focus the whole team is kind of something, too. Let's do that, because then we can actually get an upgrade for three people. Team gains confidence, plus two power removed upon being attacked. Team heals four health when an enemy dies. Next ability used by this character is sped up by 20. Okay, confidence. Oh, it has to be Katarina's turn for her to level up or something? Oh my god, 51 damage. I mean, it's going to be more than that, though. Thank you. Extra power damage to bleeding enemies. We're going to go ahead and do that, too, so. I mean, I guess you're the one that's getting hit here. Wait the delay. Wait the delay of nine, and then swap turn order with an ally. Let me see that in action. Does the poison... I'm curious if armor can block that. That that really does just work that well. That's incredible. That is so much value. Shoot all enemies now, and then when they get the chirp. Oh, we have a gunfire coming out, too. Okay, pop you. Flexing the mark should do it. 45 damage, especially with the mark, is more than enough. What a nasty squad, man. Oh my god, okay. I, I, I'm sure you're just more scavengers looking to loot this place. Thank you, you arrived. Uh, unlikely we can ask for food. Mm-hmm. What's going on? Uh, I am a member of the Unity of Peace. I don't know if you've heard of us. We are a group. I, the game has told me that they are spooky. Basically, a death cult, an extremist organization. I'm just going to say, uh, welcome in. Very well, my siblings. The team is taken to a fenced off parking lot where quite a number of red and white soldiers are stationed, fully armed with military vehicles. We have brought new allies to our great family. What the hell? Send this character to die, this character to die, or give up five fuel. So much for helping anyone ever. It's sad you do not understand just how much light you could bring to this dark world were you to join our ranks. Uh, 
I guess, you know, we could have killed... I just... I'm not going to, on my first run, sacrifice someone to a death cult. Uh... That's like a that's like a second run thing, at least. <laughs> at least a second run thing before I sacrifice somebody to a death cult. Uh, I need to get fuel now, though, as a result of that. Frantic rapidly builds up, focus very quickly, always attacks the front in a row. So getting them out of the way might be a good call. That's such a satisfying sound. <laughs> Uh, inflicts a lot of bleed and frequently attacks the front row. We actually don't care too much about that, I don't think. Still a little attack applier, a little bleed. Woo, that's a lot. But this actually works out well. You have to damage. So here's my question. There's a 50% more. Does this count as range damage? 30. Oh my god, that actually works so well. We could even kill the back line. But I kind of feel like uh, the sniper is just going to do a really good job of slowly whittling them away. We're not getting our, our charge up for what that's worth. Focus the whole team, maybe. Inflict sharpen to somebody else. Probably should be giving it to you. That's better. I thought it was apply it to themselves, which would not have been quite as exciting. Bloop. Team gains confidence. It's not great because we are going to lose it immediately, but the back line does get to keep it at the very least. Which I, I do think is going to be very helpful. It's a lot of little hits coming in. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to Wild Shout. It's a lot of little hits. Oh, one of them is an AoE is why. Uh, Get the Unwavering Resolve. I want to get you before your turn. Carnage could work. You have the buff. It's a long freaking wait, though. So 25% more. You also have the bleed. We'll get a little, we'll get a little bit of carnage. fine. Doesn't really matter. But I also feel like um, that works quite well. Get 11 to the back line. We can maybe even get him next time. Shoot all enemies now. It's just fun. I don't know. It's fun to get that AoE. I guess now we're not even going to go for that, right? Uh, Katarina, we could even give the focus to the whole team and try and like get a level up on you really fast. Deal six damage. At this point, we also could just focus on somebody else dying with a paintball. Just a piddly little blip, and it works. Three damage, poison, and slow. Could go for the back line there, I guess. Get that one attack off of you. We still have the charge up. Bloody triumph. Good God. Maybe we could just wait, charge up, and then get a mark attack. I I, I keep on doing that where I'm like, I get the, uh, the unhinged intimidation. And it truly is quite unhinged the way I'm utilizing it. I think you're going there. I guess this is a quick way to just knock you out. I was trying to maybe go for, like, an AoE business. So it looks like the poison is... Wait, does the poison hit armor? Or no? I'm not... I guess I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we definitely don't really... 
need anything. We could wait the delay and then swap turn order with an ally. We're not getting that much value out of it. Eh. Just make sure you get the, you know, the protection you want there. Okay, so now we, we're going to do this again, but so that we can get the mark going. I feel like that makes more sense. Heals most of its health upon filling the focus bar. Can definitely kill that one, right? But this is probably the more damage. Go for the large carnage. 54. We can try and get lucky with the... Ooh. Shouldn't, shouldn't matter for this fight. Yep. 30. Then we get the extra 10. That's kind of what I was trying to set up for. Glad that worked. Probably want to heal the poison if that's going to go. So poison never goes away, huh? Is that what I'm what I'm learning there? One. Four. Okay, I saw it. Yeah, there we go. Good. Good deal. So we could get rid of the poison, but there's also not really any points. We'll just go ahead and explode this man. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> just for fun. Just a fun little headshot. I could have tried to go for the heal or whatever, but... Food, fuel, new ability for who? Reciprocation. Deal six damage to any enemy who melee attacks Janus in the next 40 ticks. Um, Does scale on power. Two times power. Maxim got a couple points here. I think we just give you the double agility. I think it just makes the most sense. Oh, wait, hold on. Upgrade ability, random ability. You have to store so many points for that, though. And the raw stats is, feels very helpful. That's why we have an upgrade. What? I got confused because the game said increases the chance... You, you have an increased chance to find upgraded abilities. I guess when we level up, we're quote-unquote finding the abilities, I suppose. We can sabotage UFP vehicles for a payment of fuel. Let's do it. Nigh impossible sneak. Never mind. There, there's a lot of text, and I just I do not have time for it right now. I do apologize. You can pause and read that if you would like. Not a fighter. I can't keep doing this for long. Must carry on. I do want to see what the uh, next one is. Victoria. Um, woman equipped with survival gear. She appears so professionally prepared for the outbreak. Save for an unorthodox choice of weapon, a shovel. Okay, friendly, charming person. Though the others ask her if she has any kind of special training or expertise in dealing with such hostile environments, she simply responds with a tired smile. Once your team has grown large enough, not everyone can participate in combat at once. From the team window, open the roles tab, decide which team members will participate in combat. Who will stay idle and who will spend time training? Training is an essential part of success. Time spent training will make a character find more inspiration points for the remainder of the run. So there's kind of an interesting balance then, huh? Of like, well, you kind of want to put the people you want to use in training. Deal nine damage, you'll half the damage if the character, if this character has the guard effect. Hmm. Heal 7 if guarding. Gain 7 protection whenever any ally is attacked. Huh. What, what, what are you? You're a, you're a tank, but you're like a, a like an assist tank, huh? Deal half damage if you have guard. So it's a bad thing if you have guard on that one. Heal 7 if guarding. Gain 7 protection whenever any ally is attacked in the next 50 picks. I do want to know, though. Can it count her? Switch columns of currently planned enemy attacks. Gain 2 survival. 1 protection. So gives 2 protection to allies whenever attacked. Toggle the guard status effect for this character. When disabling guard, redirect. Really, really interesting stuff there. Uh, I will say, 
I do unfortunately have to go, but I have the same feelings I had uh, a year ago. It's like, it's a surprisingly neat and tight game. I, I feel like there's some visual elements to it that initially had me almost skip it in the first place, like a, a year ago. And I gotta say, like, man, they, it's, it's solid. Like mechanically, it's very, very solid. It's definitely got like, you know, long runs, one of those, but in turn-based RPG, it feels like that's kind of par for the course. When we get one that has them like, nice and uh, a nice and tight run oh boy that's gonna be the day for me because i I'm just like i don't know if i can sit down because this does yeah this is not the end of the run down there uh and we we made it here in probably like i'll say 40 minutes because the tutorial was about 10 but i love the the whole character system and the long runs at least make sense for a game like this uh, where you're kind of like leaning halfway between a normal roguelike run and like a darkest <laughs> dungeon campaign. Not halfway between, obviously, but you are you want to build up your characters. So it really does feel like a more it's a it's not a it's not a long roguelike, it's a short RPG, I think is the way to look at it. It's like a very short replayable RPG and less like a long roguelike. And I think if you look at it through that lens, it's gonna be a lot more palatable. Uh but God, it's it's very, very solid. Like, really, 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 really solid. Do recommend. Alas, alas, though. That is that. That's going to do it here for today. For stories, stories of the outbreak. Let me check. Stories from the outbreak. Uh, go check it out. Out in 1.0. Uh, and I I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. It's 25% off right now. Now's a good time to get it if you want to get it. Thank you for watching, though. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.